What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance, aka Demon King Virus, aka Virus Beats, aka Shadow Blade. You guys already know names. I ain't gotta say it. Like you already know the damn names. Oh my gosh, I'm answering a few things right here. Apparently, guys, I was actually watching something, but, um, like I was saying, um, but anyway, to start things off, and it's something that's completely true, this is a misconception everybody has, and that is the lie that we've all been told since we were kids, that in order to make it in the music industry, you have to spend money to make money. Well, guess what? I am here to tell you that that is a load of shit. That is a lie. You do not have to spend any money to make a single dime of money. And I can prove that to you right now. You guys are probably thinking, oh, well, how am I going to prove it? Like, how am I going to do that? Well, allow me to show you. Hold up on my Kindle here. Because, like, I just did, like, two other seminars this morning about this about how you can make money, you know, without spending a dime. Like, and people, they started listening, and it's completely true. First app you're going to want to download, because I know a lot of people wonder, like, do certain apps work with certain phones? Yes, the apps I'm going to show you work for all devices. First app you guys are going to want to get is called Amuse. Now, what Amuse does is it puts your music onto every major platform in the world completely free. Like um, Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, Google Play Store, um, Rhapsody, um, Napster. I actually found my stuff on Napster the other day, which was really weird because I haven't seen Napster in years. So like, that was pretty cool to see that. But, um, what you're going to do is you're going to upload your music onto here. Like I said, you're going to want to upload it in a WAV form. And then once you do that, it'll then distribute your music after a week of being processed. It'll then put your music out on every major, you know, online market in the world. You know, which does include Spotify because I do have Spotify. Hey, what is up, guys? If you guys don't know, this is Ian Duxworth, a.k.a. Bradley from Bloodshot Records. He's actually a testament to this. Like, he's actually seen, you know, what happens. And he can actually show, like, he knows firsthand how it works. But um, like I said, if you guys are just now joining us and you guys are into doing music and you want to know how to do it without spending a dime, number one app you're going to want to get is this right here which is Amuse. And like I said, what Amuse does is it allows you to upload your music and then after a week of being processed, it puts it out on every major market from Spotify, iTunes, Google Play Store, basically every major market that's online in the world, completely free. And you do get, to, like if somebody goes on to like say Google Play and buys your music, you get to keep 100% of what you make from that stuff. Next app you guys are going to want to get if you do record is this right here. And this is another free app. It's called Soundtrap. Now what's unique about Soundtrap? Oh, hold on. Now what's unique about this app right here is you can not only record 
on your phone or your mobile device or whatever you record with. But you can also take it to your computer. And like, let's say you're out and about. All right, let's say you're recording something or you have an idea in your head and you want to record something really quick. Well, you just pull up Soundtrap, record it in there, save it. And then when you get back home, you just go to Soundtrap.com and you can pull it up right there on your computer and continue right where you left off. And yes, it is free to sign up and free to download. Um, next one on the list that's also free to record with, which I use all the time as well, especially when it comes to like my classical composition work and stuff, is this right here. It's called BandLab. And you can virtually, you can do the same thing with this that you can on Soundtrap. You're able to record, save, and then pick back up where you left off. It's a free, simple, easy to use app, free to download for Android. I believe it's both available for iOS and Android, but I believe it's just Android. I don't know. Um, if, one, if one of you guys can tell me in the comments if it's free for um, iTunes or from the Apple iTunes store or the Apple iStore store, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, I have not been, you know, I've not used an iPhone in years. So, like, I wouldn't know. Like, I'm out of the loop on that shit. But uh, those are the tools you guys that are looking to make it in music. Those are the tools that you guys are going to use to make it in the industry. That's how you're going to get ahead. So all you music artists out there that are looking for labels, stop looking for labels and work for yourself. Pay yourself. Now, I will admit, I will admit this one thing that with Amus, you do have to wait like six weeks to six months to get paid due to transfers from, like it's between six weeks and six months, like it depends. Like, but then that also depends on, like, banks and stuff like that. But you guys are probably thinking, well, why would I want to wait six weeks? Ah, if you think about it, you could potentially double yourself up. In that time span and waiting for the payments, you could be making another album. You could be touring. You could be doing all kinds of stuff within that period to be making more money. Now, on to you producers that are charging too much. I'm about to tell you this right now, and y'all are going to hate me for it, but I don't give a shit. Y'all are fucking dumb for charging $50 and above. Here's why. See, the average artist is not looking for a high price, high end. They're not looking for a high end beat for a high price. They're looking for a high end beat for a low price. And this is a little strategy I picked up from a couple of friends over the years. <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to make a pack of 10 random beats. And wherever you post your music up, post those 10 beats up there. <clears throat> and what you're going to do is you're going to charge people $10 flat rate to sell the entire beat. No lease, nothing. Just flat out sell the beat to them. For $10. Because let me tell you. Most artists are not looking to have a beat leased. They're looking to buy a beat flat out. And what you can do. And this is what I do. This is what I do personally. But it's just personal preference. If you want to do this part. But what you want to do. Is you want to make those same beats. That you sold to that one artist for $10. You want to make that available to everyone. You want to make those same beats. Available to everybody and here's why average person is, let's say there's seven days in a week all right let's say there's seven days in a week and you're selling beats for say 50 bucks you're not going to make that much because most people don't look for beats at that kind of a price they look for low you know high-end beats for a low price like i said 
and say you're not going to make that much within a week. Reason why you're not going to get that many customers. Because see, and that's where you guys mess up is a lot of you guys think, oh, you know, I'm selling it for this much, so I'm getting this and that, da da da. Yeah, you might be getting, you know, more money, like potentially more money, and you might be balling out big with, you know, all that dough. But here's what you don't realize while you're over here, you know, like let's say you're over here and you're selling music for 50 bucks, like your one beat for 50 bucks. This dude's over here rocking out 10 beats for 10 bucks, a pack of 10 beats for 10 bucks and getting double the customers. Why? Because that artist was looking for a low price, good quality beat. And this guy is selling him 10 beats for 10 bucks. So who do you think that guy is going to go to that y'all are selling to? Do you think he's going to go to you or the guy that's selling the 10 beats for 10 bucks? Hey, yeah. That's more garbage for you to take out the can before they get here. They've already been here. But uh, just hold that thought, guys. I'll be right back. Hey, it's alright, guys. I'm back. But um, like I was saying, man, like but I'm like I was saying, guys. You know, for you producers out there that are selling high price, stop doing that. You're gonna, you're not gonna draw in customers by pricing at high prices. You're gonna want to sell low. You're gonna want to do like I do: sell ten beats. For ten dollars, and that's what's going to draw in your customers. That's where you're going to, you know, get people saying, "Hey, I know this producer. He sells this many beats for this price," and you're going to draw in more customers that way. And in the long run, I guarantee you, within a day, I guarantee you, at least three to four, maybe five or six people are going to want to buy your beats because you're selling high-end quality for a low price. And those people are going to keep on coming back and coming back. And in the end, you're going to be making double than what you were before. Or if you're a producer and you're seeing this kind of thing, you're going to be making double in the end, in the long run. In long term, you'll be making double than what this guy over here is selling his, buck, his one beat for 50 bucks is making. You're going to be making double what that guy is making. And possibly if you do it long enough, you'll probably triple it. I 
very much, guys. I hope that these few tips helped you out. If you are an artist, if you are a producer, I hope that these few tips did help you guys out and help to show you guys that you don't have to spend money in music to make money. You can make good quality music using those few apps and you can sell twice as many beats and get twice as many customers using the tip and trick and technique is that I showed a lot of you producers and how to do it. But anyways, y'all, this has been your boy Chance, aka Shadowblade, or Demon King Virus, or Virus from Virus Beats. And I'll see you guys in the next live stream.